Hey guys, this is Emran Gaiso. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about MBVM framework, and this is the UI that is being updated for date and time. You can see over here. In our previous project, our date and time were static, so our UI didn't get refreshed for date and time. So in this tutorial, we'll be implementing new view model so that our UI get refreshed for date and time. So let us create a new project. Select a blank form application. And the ID can be your Mac as well as Windows. You can choose anything you may like. Give another name for that. I'm using .NET standard project. And let us create a new project for that. That's all. Let's build and run your project. I'm setting iOS project as my startup project. You can choose Android project too. As my simulators are pretty faster. Okay, this my Xamarin forms blank iOS project application. Let us remove that predefined level from our given stack layout. Let us introduce another layout giving binding as date and time. This date and time will be called from our view model whose string format is 0 is to t. Here 0 is to t is our predefined date and time format which will be displayed. Now let us set that label as center and then I'll give that font size for the given label as large. Now in order to interact main page with the given view model, here I'll be setting binding context as new, some view new model name. So in order to create that view model name, I'll create another folder naming it as view model. You can name anything you may like but it is a convention to add a view model name as view model and then let us create an empty class as anything you may like here I'll be naming it as let us call it as test view model and then create a new empty class our view model is already constructed now we want to let main page to know about our view model that is already defined so I'll be calling it as test view model that is defined inside our view models you can see over here and from here all the property that will be defined over here will be called inside our main page XAML part if you are in doubt that why we are using view model in this project the only reason is for refreshing the given UI so Xamarin Forms has predefined property change events such as I notify property change as well as I commands that is defined within system component namespace. Let us understand this dot date time that means whenever this class is called then it will be calling date time dot now property from the given device and the timer will start from one second and if the property gets changed constantly that will be returning it as true you can see over here that is defined within Xamarin forms and if we return it as true then its time get updated per second here date time is predefined model where I'll be assigning it an object for changing the given property we'll be using getters as well as setters at first we'll return the given date and time and then for setting it let us assume that the given date and time is not is equals to value then date and time is equals to value if property changed is not is equals to null then property changed is equals to this new property change even arguments that is our date and time is going to be changed over here now let us go to our main page XAML part whether we have used binding date and time correctly or not we will set our stack layout to center let us set that to center that's all now let us build and run our project cool our project is up and running thank you guys thanks for watching in next tutorials we'll be learning more about MBVM before diving into advanced project that's all thank you guys